Hey there Aquarius, it's time for your weekly horoscope for the coming seven days and just a quick reminder for everybody out there, should you ever wish to get a session with me, all you need to do is go on ahead to my website, it's integrativemysticism.com or of course you may also simply follow the links down below. And for those of you who like to go a bit deeper, look at things from a spiritual or multidimensional perspective, this week's incoming wave horoscope is up. And of course, you can find that on my main channel page by clicking on my avatar beneath this video, or you can open the down bar below and follow the links to its playlist. So what is going on when it comes to this coming week? This week is overlit by the Fool. And so with the Fool card upright as sort of the main theme, a lot of you Piscean people are getting into a space where you are almost assuming an entirely new and entirely different expression of self. It's almost like birthing a new identity, birthing a new phase of your life in which you are not only just stepping into foreign territory, but you are also exhibiting behaviors and traits that are also foreign to you. The Fool card upright is showing a sense of a graduation from an old way of being. This could actually be the abandoning of a lot of stories that for all intents and purposes are done, but maybe just don't feel wrapped up. And I do think a lot of you are stepping into a, a completely uh, blank canvas this week when it comes to your jobs, when it comes to your friendships, your relationships. Because the Fool card is having you hang out and spend a lot of time with a lot of fresh faces, and we are actually bringing in a lot of new energy, a lot of new energies in to enjoy that are ultimately going to be taking you on an adventure that's going to lead you to a life that is, again, completely foreign to what we've maybe been trying to build in recent history. And with the Fool card, it's all about a sense of new community. It's a sense of new surroundings, new environment. In fact, as we get to the uh, material realm, when we talk to, uh, talk to, talk about the lovers upright, you are getting partnered up. You are getting paired off. You are getting assigned, essentially, if you want to, you know, look at it that way. Uh, to a lot of new commitments when it comes to your personal wealth, your personal abundance, as well as your career journey. The lover's card upright is actually bringing in um, alliances that are going to actually help you not only further your career, but also help you move away from either a dead end or something that became too cumbersome to deal with on your own. What I like about the Lover's Card Upright is that there's that classic emphasis on a win-win equivalent exchange. Everyone is getting what they're putting into it, out of it. And what I like about the Lovers as well is that there is this sense of sort of a guided nature to this. There is, you know, there's an ushering, there is a pulling together of these teams, of these groups, of the support. A lot of you may be finding that even short-term projects have a chance to go long-term or full-time, and even those of you who might be thinking about doing something short-term, or you may be involved in a short-term contract or short-term work or financial agreement, there could be an opportunity to reevaluate, renegotiate, or even extend through this, except I don't feel like it's going to be the same thing if it's an extension. It's really just sort of like a new opportunity to replace what is about to expire that actually is an evolution of the old. As we get on to your community card, we talk about friends, relatives, other people in your life. We do have the Knight of Cups upright, and a lot of you are finding yourselves in a space where you are actually being welcomed into either a, a new relationship uh, or a new type of uh, community that has a completely you know, different feel to what you could, would normally expect maybe in the circles that you've you know, worked in before. The Knight of Cups is bringing in a sense of emotional sincerity as well. I'm wondering if this could be a new friend uh, welcoming you into their entourage or possibly even the deepening of an existing relationship or an existing friendship with uh, you know one of the guys one of the gals 
or a, a family member. But the Knight of Cups I also find is actually going to be making some kind of gesture or making some kind of move with their own connections, their own actions to maybe get you into a higher state of being or a higher quality of life because we are seeing with the Knight of Cups they are coming bearing gifts or they do if it's not a gift that they have to just give outright this is something that they have that they are going to be sharing most generously with you the Knight of Cups can also show up alongside the Fool as an invitation to even start bringing out sides of yourself exhibiting sides of yourself, coming out with sides of yourself that ultimately you have been maybe shielding or compartmentalizing away from certain friends and certain relatives. But because of an evolution within them, the dynamic with us actually changes and all of a sudden everyone is able to be more sincere, more vocal, and more upfront and straightforward with who they really, really are. As we get on to the emotional or romantic relationship side of things, we have the star upright. And a lot of you single or available Piscean people are going to find yourselves in a really good position to actually start putting in the beginning steps of a new relationship in the making. Coupled with the fool, this would most likely be with somebody that um, in, in some capacity is absolutely nothing like anyone you've been with in your past. Because when we have the fool and the star, we have something that may still, of course, be attractive, right? I mean, it's, it's still going to be something appealing, but it, it's something that defies our own history, our own uh, precedence that we have already set. And I feel like this is something that you are probably taking a little bit slowly. They're taking a little bit slowly. There's a tentative nature to this, but it will actually start to build in momentum should you be brave enough to try something that probably promises a life and a lifestyle that is not something you've actually taken a lot of time to get familiar with or explore, but actually is more compatible with you than it looks on paper. As we get to those of you who are currently coupled or in established relationships, must, much of this is actually the same, except with the star card upright. This may be an experimental time for you and your partner to be trying this on. Now, your partner themselves may also be going through a bit of a, a, a personal uh, shift or a personal growth spurt during this week. And with the star card upright, they may be actually taking very big steps to implement some kind of major shift in their own quality of life, the lifestyle that they live, which of course has a ripple effect in raising the quality of life around the two of you. This does look like, with the Fool card as well though, a new adventure is actually going to be starting for the two of you, and there may actually be a big move that comes that actually commemorates this shift in the two of you. This could actually be maybe a new goal to set our sights on, a literal move, or possibly something that we are trying to embark on together as, in an, as an investment in the relationship to, if not spice things up, possibly even make things more uh, productive or profitable or creatively and spiritually fulfilling as well. So stay tuned for that. So I hope you found this helpful, Pisces. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mm -hmm.